Hey there, broadcasters. Welcome back for another inside look at Rivet. Today, we're going to take a look at how to use a KiloView DC230 decoder with Rivet. If you haven't set up your Rivet stream already, head over to rivet.stream and log into your account. So let's create a stream. In this first section here, I will set up the KiloView decoder for Rivet. This is where I can put the public IP and port of my KiloView decoder. If I'm doing a point-to-point -point decode or a server address, if you are using a server service like High Vision Gateway or a AWS service or even a Nimble server. So once I've put in all that IP information, I can set my latency and my video bitrate and audio settings. And from here, I'm gonna scroll down and actually I'm not going to set up a return feed for this demo since we're just focusing on setting up our KiloView decoder. If you wanted to set up your return feed, this is where you would put that information. So I'm gonna hit create stream. And then this is the link or rivet ID I would send over to our contributor. Now we're going to set up our KiloView so it's ready to receive our rivet stream. I still have this KiloView on default IP settings just in case you recently unboxed your KiloView. If you've already integrated your KiloView into your network, all of this obviously is a different process. So I'm gonna manually change my static to be on the same network as my KiloView. I'll set my IP to this and my subnet to this. Now I'll just open up a browser and type in my default IP and it will bring me to the login page. The default login and password is admin, all lowercase. And voila, the KiloView decoder interface. From here, we are going to stay in this media interface here. At the bottom, go to sources and click add. Name your source and select SRT as the URL address. The connection mode will depend on how you set up your Rivet feed. And so if we're doing this point to point scenario, the decoder will be listening on a port on your network that you opened up previously. But if you're, you're using an SRT caller relationship, you could change that here and put that public IP and port number here as well. Then we can set our latency and buffer speed. And if you go to the advanced settings, if you had set up encryption on the Revit side, you could also put your, the encryption type and password. Hit okay and your decoder is ready. And as soon as the contributor starts their broadcast, boom, there they are. If you just hit the cogwheel, you can look at all the connection settings. And there you have it, rivet on a KiloView decoder. Happy broadcasting.